the wider world, it is relatively rare for a business to be passed successfully down generations. In the thoroughbred industry, however, it happens quite often. Why is this? Craig, Holly, and Conrad Banderoff agree it is because ours is a business rooted in passion. The Nolly Stud turns 30 this year, and as Craig and Holly take a step back, Conrad is poised to take Denali into the future. I tell people uh, I was born with the gene that I love horses and I just always had this infatuation with horses from when I was a little kid. It was a great environment to grow up in because I got to see how much work goes into running an operation like this and then especially in my dad's role how much pressure and and work take is you know is required for for his role and so uh, you know that was really a, you know a, a strong role model for me at a young age just seeing that work ethic. I am not from a, a horse background at all and so I knew nothing about horses until I came into it as Craig's wife. Um, and as I've watched the industry, I very quickly learned that it's, it's all consuming. It's not a job. It's, it's a lifestyle and it's a way of life. And I think that people who are raised in the industry, whether they're the sons and daughters of trainers or farm owners, consigners, there's, there's just this incredible um, reverence for the horses as animals and also honestly for the land and being a steward of the land and understanding how special it is to have a piece of property. It kind of becomes part of the family for sure. So I do think it is unusual but understandable mm -hmm. that so many families in the horse business um, have sons and daughters who want to join their parents. I think when it comes to horses, obviously, you know, one of, one of the things that's very important to me, and I am really pleased that it's really important to Conrad, you know, is to raise good horses, right? Give them every chance to be an athlete, give them every chance to, you know, reach whatever potential they may have. We can put our heads down every night and know, you know, we're trying to raise a good horse, you know, and that's why, you know, we invest in this land and the facilities and spent most of the money we ever made just trying to build these places. I consider myself very fortunate that from a young age I, I was able to identify my passion and, and kind of methodically plan out my future. And um, it was as early as a freshman or sophomore in high school that, you know, I, I knew that I wanted to come into the horse business. I knew I wanted to come back to Denali Stud. I'm sure the outside world can look at kids like Conrad and some of the others and say, wow, what a leg up they had. And, and they did, but you know, nobody handed this to Conrad. You know, I'm just not that, I'm just not that type of person, right? And he had to prove to me his you know, his passion and he had to prove to me his capability. I think one of the most interesting things about Conrad, from my perspective, is once we realized how serious he was, he was so driven. Now Conrad, he, he's a lucky person because he got my work ethic and Holly's personality, right? I'm immensely proud and I think the future direction of the farm is going to be a lot you know, we're getting close to the point where it'll be what Conrad wants it to be. You know, I've, I've said to him lots of times that, look, the way we've done it has worked out well, but that doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. I have no idea what the future here is gonna be, but I think, you know, he's a smart young man, well-educated, and, you know, just like his mother and I figured it out, he'll, he'll figure it out. There's some pretty amazing parallels between the way Conrad approached his desire to get into the industry and how Craig, Craig did. Because when he was in high school, he was, you know, taking high school classes and working at the track in the morning at, you know, as a 16, 17 year old kid in high school. 
Um, so it, it, now that I think back on it, it's pretty interesting, the parallels between their early experiences and their passion for the industry. My dad's always been one of my one of my biggest role models, and um, you know he's he's not had a had an easy life from his ability to overcome ad adversity and and you know his his perseverance is something that I've always really admired him and something that I you know have always aspired to to live up to and you know for him to have started Denali off of a 75 acre lease and for it to be at the level and that it is now in terms of industry respect and, and size and scope is, is something that I know he's really proud of and I'm really proud of for him. So, um, you know, it's just trying to emulate his honesty and integrity and um, certainly his hard work and, and perseverance.